We often talk about these new technologies like drones being something for the future. But in this case, I want to show you how these drones are helping in a country in the Africa to deliver medicines. It's almost like a miracle. I will tell you a story now. Here is Marco Vilenius, your traveling futurist. Africa is a continent, has a lot of struggle, not only because they have a colonial past, but because as a terrain, as a territory, it's sometimes very hard to move from place A to place B there. And that is because there is a, a lot of mountains, valleys, little roads, and even those roads are hard to drive. So it is in Rwanda. Rwanda is a country that we all remember experienced a genocide back in 1990s, but now it's a country with very stable governance system and democracy. And they are very much looking forward to how they can use new technologies to overcome some of the hurdles. In Rwanda, they have the issue of how they can reach out to distant villages, to distant locations, to the hospitals, and get the medicines that they need. So Rwanda government, years back, made a pact an agreement with Silicon Valley based company Zipline that they will start a pilot project about how with their drones that they have built in the company that with those drones they can deliver those critical medicine in the country where it usually takes too long if the patient is in a critical condition and typically needs a blood to make any kind of operation possible. They started to pilot that and then soon they noticed that actually the drone can cut off the time of delivery from say three hours to six minutes. So they're using the type of the drones that can transport up to two kilos those critical medicines in a fast way using the central location where the storage is where there are the conditions for the storage to transport in a very fast way to the locations where the doctors are in need of that it has proved to be hugely successful because now they are not dependent anymore on this land delivery which often took too long time but using these drones is actually a very resource efficient way of dealing with the challenge of transportation. And again, this goes back to what I keep telling that the era in which we are living right now is the era of resource efficiency, where we try to deliver, to do whatever we need to do more fast, easy, less material intensive, fast way. I believe that this successful case of Rwanda where they have now agreed to continue to expand that delivery all over Rwanda in the future also encompassing not just the delivery of the medicines but also the delivery of some other critical stuff showing that we can leapfrog in the way that we are building our services by using these new, much more intelligent technology. I want especially to emphasize that this is something where now two countries are collaborating. So there is American operator, American company that has created the technology. And then in Rwanda, there is a the need for that type of the service. And together they can build something that can really make the difference. And when it comes to Africa or any other part of sort of the developing nations worldwide in the future I believe we're gonna see a lot of this type of the cases and that gives a lot of hope that we always don't want to see that these fastly developing countries are adopting the same kind of technologies that we were using in the past instead they are using the newest one the ones that actually are not being so much used if at all in our more developed part of the world and this is something fascinating because that also shows how the technology in our times can 
help us to build much more efficient networks, communications, yes, and in this case, delivery system, and help us to actually imagine what is possible in the future. Because if we see this working, and this is only in the one country, there can be 50 or not 100 of countries that could use the same. And because the investment is not that big, we're not talking about the hundreds of millions, not tens of millions even. These kind of new systems are also efficient in terms of financial input. That is of course good news in the countries that often don't have so much money and other financial resources available. All in all, I think this, this case of Zipline in Rwanda really shows that we are entering into a new era where this type of the collaboration can actually make a dramatic change in the lives of the people. Subscribe to my channel where you will learn more about the future.